5G is much more than just the next G beyond 4G. If you look at the previous network implementations, they've been around enhanced mobile broadband services primarily, aimed at people with smartphones, tablets and so on. 5G brings the opportunity to start connecting businesses, to start connecting machinery, to start automating processes that you have in place. And in order to be able to support that type of infrastructure, low latency services, ultra reliability services, machine type communications, you need to look at every element of the network. There's no point upgrading just the radio if you don't upgrade the rest of the network to support the same speeds. A network is only as fast as its slowest link. So the proposal we're looking at here is to understand what a network evolution plan looks like. What investment do you need to make in the radio? What do you need to do with the transport? What do you need to do with the core network? What do you need to do with the operation systems? How do you address those new customers? So the premise is to look at the evolution of the network and balance that with the monetization opportunities, the business opportunities that an operator can address and look at both the technology and the business in parallel. What's next with networks is looking at the architecture which is in place. One of the fundamental challenges that 5G is trying to address is latency and the limitation there is the speed of light in a fibre. If we talk about millisecond latencies, you have to have the service delivered at the edge of the network and that means looking at the architecture so that you don't have all the services centralised, you start to distribute them towards the edge. So what we're looking at here is using a cloud native distributed cloud architecture as part of the network evolution. One of the issues with a 5G network is that it contains a lot of data about people, about businesses, and naturally those consumers, those businesses want to be sure that their data is absolutely secure. So what we're looking at as we build a network is to make sure that security is ingrained in every element. And that's not just in the design of the equipment that goes into it, it's into the processes that operate it, it's into the upgrades, it's the modifications, it's the support that it gives. And we have to make sure that security is considered throughout that process. And that means using artificial intelligence tools to monitor and maintain the network to keep it absolutely secure throughout its life. The 5G networks will be able to support a wide variety of new use cases, each of which has very different requirements in terms of the traffic that they need to support. You'll have high bandwidth services like video delivery. You'll have requirements for millions of sensors to be connected, each of which generate very small amounts of data. You need ultra reliable services, let's say you're using autonomous driving or remote robotics or something like that. In order to be able to do that, we start to need artificial intelligence techniques, automation techniques that's way beyond anything that people can seriously manage in the zero-touch environment. The last part is not the network at all, it's the new business opportunities, the new use cases which are opened up by having a 5G network, whether that's cloud-based gaming, whether that's augmented or virtual reality services, whether it's smart stadiums, whether it's a port where it can control the traffic coming in, the location of the containers which are in it, the temperature of those containers, the crane, anything else like that that goes into a port. The beauty of slicing is that it enables all of these different types of services and the service level of agreements that they need to be handled by the network in parallel with guaranteed performance. And by having a 5G network with the characteristics to support each of those individual services, we can see that operators working with us can develop a whole new ecosystem of businesses that start to unleash the true potential of 5G. The key takeaway is that 5G is not just about mobile broadband for consumers. It opens up a huge opportunity for different types of businesses with enterprises and different types of businesses with consumers with value-added content as well.